Hey everyone, I'm Sophie Hardcastle. I'm a 21 year old Australian author and I'm part of the web TV series Hashtag Where I Write. Today I'm showing you around where I write. I'm going to tell you a tiny bit about how I write and I'm going to read you the prologue of my first book. It's a memoir. It's called Running Like China and it will be available in Australia and New Zealand as of the 1st of September and it will also be available internationally as an ebook. It's published with Hachette Australia and so that's the 1st of September only a few months away now which is pretty exciting um, behind me this is my beautiful backdrop I'm very lucky to have this forest backing onto where I write I'm very, I live on the northern beaches in Sydney and yeah so it's very beautiful I'm just going to take you inside now this is where I live at my boyfriend's house. Um, down here, so I study fine arts as well. So I've got some paintings here. They tend to accumulate quite quickly. They're quite big, so I tend to run out of room of where to put them up. I've also thought I'd show you guys this. It's the piece of cardboard that I first mapped out running like China on, and that was over a year and a half ago now. So it's come a long way in that time from being on this tatty piece of cardboard to a book that's soon going to be on the shelves. Um, this is my desk where I write. Um, I've made my bed especially for this video. Uh, on my desk I've got just a pile of some of my favourite books. I've got stacks of journals. I always have journals with me. always have like notepads and books on me. Um, and that's because I constantly note down interesting things that people say or do. Um, and yeah, I guess like thoughts that I've got as well, thoughts that I have. Um, up here I got this candle for my 21st birthday. It says I'm actually a mermaid. Um, and this candle is quite special. A woman made it, or hand made it for me. I lent her the first ever copy of Running Like China. Um, the like rough manuscript because her daughter was going through some tough times mentally um, and she made me this after she'd read it. It said, thank you Sophie, reading your book helped, is helping and will help me on my journey as a mum, which I thought was quite special. So I've got that there just to keep me grounded and remind me why I'm writing Running Like China and why I'm doing all of this work with mental health because it is so important and it really does affect so many people. Um, so I work best in the morning. I'll get up nice and early with the sun. Um, I'll spend, yeah, like probably the first hour of my day before I have breakfast, either in the surf, going for a swim, walking around the headland. I don't know, something outdoors at the moment. I've got quite a nice fin chop and stitches in my foot. So I'm not in the ocean at the moment, but hopefully I'll be back in soon. Um, I'll write throughout the day. And I'm really not somebody that ever has to force myself to write. Um, I become obsessed with it. Like I love it and it's the best thing I could ever imagine myself doing. I don't really know what I would do if I wasn't an author. I don't, yeah, don't do very well at any other jobs. Um, yeah, and so I, I'll write till 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Um, by that point, everyone's finishing work, finishing uni finishing school so then I can spend the afternoons how I want with friends and family and have all my writing done for the day. Um, so I'm going to read you the prologue of Running Like China. Okay, so we've got, uh, I became China, that's how I survived. I was always a fast runner, I loved the movement, I loved the way the wind beat my face and lifted my hair. My friend said I was running like China. That's why everyone calls me China, I said. But that doesn't make sense, they told me, almost angry that my explanation was not reasonable. I know, I said evenly. I watched them move in awkwardly in their chairs, letting slip an exasperated laugh. So you run like a Chinaman? No, I replied quite calmly. Just China. China is not something you can run like. I know, it doesn't make sense. I guess that's why it's stuck. Okay, they sighed, and I sensed their dissatisfaction. But what they didn't realise, what no one realised, was that China was a, not a nickname. It was a new face, a mask I had adopted. China was a second self that stood bright and alive, 
casting a shadow over my sick self. In the shadow's darkness, no one could see Sophie's marked skin or the way her hands shook. She was safe. Beneath the cool veil of China, I had time to heal. Thanks. So my memoir, that's Running Like China, that's out in September, as I said. Um, yeah, which is really soon coming up now. Um, so I'm thrilled, so excited for the release of my first book. Uh, and so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!